All right. Time for a Gragas game. I will be playing against a Rek'Sai here, which is, like, okay, honestly. Matchup is not that bad. I, uh... Oh, he's gonna go for the ward there. My boy. And Rek'Sai, like, my body slam can deny quite a bit from Rek'Sai, right? So it's uh, it should be looking pretty reasonable for the most part. I will definitely look at, like, potential plays here at early bolt. Rek'Sai's probably gonna start red and do, do, do her topside quadrant. And I'll go do my red side quadrant as well, and we'll see how we adapt from there, basically. I don't necessarily need a leash. No. They want to play pretty aggressive, it's fine. I'll just go solo start Raptors, it's not a problem. I will uh, see what we can adapt to at that point. Okay. Sure. If they want to go for it, then we go red wife instead. Not a problem. Uh, elo of this game is about diamond three uh, diamond three diamond two mmr the entire enemy team is like d3 d2 so you are aware of the situation and uh yeah Ooh, green smite rexi i don't think that is actually a good choice i'm gonna be real with you blue smite on rexi is just so strong with the mobility thing you know all right then Keeping an eye out on bot lane here. I need to hit level 3 before I go for a gank. Because I need all my abilities, basically. So there will be never an option to do anything but that. Use my pet with the two hits there to kill everything. Okay, bot lane seems to be doing well. So it doesn't seem that I have to go bot lane. Which might allow me for a Trendomir gank here, basically. Rex, I should be showing soon on those Raptors. I don't know what the hell is going on here. There, he, there she is. Okay, I mean, I have no bot plays here, right? I just don't have any, so I'm just gonna go clear, keep clearing towards topside here. We'll be fine. I might be able to look for the Trendomir or something. Trendomir just warded in river somewhere. I'm assuming right there. Maybe deeper, maybe he warded like right here, but I don't think he had enough time for that. They have to take the reset here, which they do. That is beautiful. I'll go take my time to do my Grom first for a bit of a better uh, spawn on this, I suppose. It's completely fine here. Because I don't have any threat. Rek'Sai is, like, entirely bot side here. Might be looking for, like, a backside mid gank. Be something I could look for if I was the Rek'Sai, basically. But it looks like she probably is just full clearing like I am right now. I would have gone bot there, but there was no option. My bot lane already won the play, so there's nothing else to be done in that moment. Like we're just playing for scuttle spawn. Might be able to look for mid after. Top is now shoving under turret as well. So that's not really an option either. Looking like a pretty uh, slow early game for me here. No gank options. Just focus on the Nautilus here. I'm pretty sure he shouldn't have his flash, so this should just be a death. That's fine. Good flash from Rek'Sai, that would have been her death. I probably would be able to kill the Rek'Sai there, if she would have overstayed slightly. With like a f flash body slam, that would have been an insta finish. I'm gonna reset here as well. If I run for this camp right now, I'd be trolling. I just need to go to base and just get my reset off this. That'd be better. Gotta get Sorks on his back. Seems very strong. Just additional mobility here is gonna be quite nice as well. But just, like, fight potential with magic penetration is gonna be good. Just, there is no way she doesn't go Krugs here. Like, she has to. Out of base, go Krugs there. So I'm just pinging so my Aatrox is careful. If they, if she does go for straight bot lane here, I'd be there to cover, which I highly doubt, but theoretically could be possible. It would be a bad call though. Yeah, be, being like pinging that out also allows my bot lane to play pretty aggressive because then they know where the Rex I would be. But that's crucial here. Caitlyn seems to be doing quite well. Caitlyn's swaying here, very solid, uh, solid lane from them. As expected, Rex I top. 
I could just look for like the mid play here. I want to run hit six here. Could be wasting a lot of time. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Never did scuttle. Interesting. I'm probably losing my bolt side or my top side cams here, I would imagine. I'd be kind of surprised if I wasn't. Oh, I am not. Okay, then. Very interesting. Sadly, here my Yasuo back, so my best bet is just reset, go for Grump, I guess, at this moment in time. I got a Dark Seal on his back. If my Yasuo didn't reset there, I could have walked in from behind and just, like, went for that with a Body Slam, hit it, and then Yasuo ults and Vigar dies, but... Yeah, no options there, so I'm just gonna go Grump here and then clear these two and then clear down. By this time, this should respawn, my Red should respawn, and I can take all of that. Hit level 6, potentially look for the Dragon, maybe, look for, like, bot lane gank might be an option. That's the type of deal we're looking for right now. If I would walk from where I was towards topside here instead of just resetting first, I would be trolling, so... Because I would walk across the map for no reason where I could just do this, you know? Clean that up. Be hitting six off wolves here, which is good. Next size bolt lane. I think that just means I go instantly towards the red buff here because they're definitely gonna dragon, right? Let's get party started. Gonna go for that. I think that's my best bet. Moving up here, taking red buff. Look for some respawn camps afterwards, potentially. But this is just a red buff angle for me here. Try to trade for seeing Rek'Sai both side. Yeah, okay. yeah there it is. Smite this for as much speed as possible. Okay. I stood still there because I don't want Rek'Sai to see me, if that makes sense. Uh, if, if I start moving there, her tremors would go off. All Yasuo has to do is just path towards me, and then that should be completely free. Wait, I... That minion blocked the body slam for him? Wow, that's so bad for me, man. That sucks. I'm actually very sad about that one. That is really lucky for Vigar, though. I actually thought that was gonna hit still, but that minion just completely blocked it. That's crazy. Fair enough. Damn. That's rough. Uh, I'm dead. Damn. Trying to get there still. I guess I go bolt scuttle here still. Stand under it and kite it up, because I wouldn't be able to fight this on both sides. Rek'Sai is actually top. Pretty sure a blue should be here. I can't do anything about this. I can loop around this way and try to go for the blue still. I feel like my Swain is uh, dropping the ball somewhere, according to Caitlyn at least. I might be losing uh, I might be losing Rift Herald here actually. I feel like I lost Rift Herald here. Yeah. I think I can dragon if they wanna come. I don't have smite because I used it, but I think I should still be fine. Because realistically Rexa does Herald here. Right, there is no way Rek'Sai doesn't herald there. I just need my bot lane to help me here real quick so we can trade herald for this. I should have let himself got like let himself get hooked. That would have been 30 times better. Gonna walk in still. Swain gets both. Gonna reset. 
I probably won't be able to defend this, but there's a chance that he has to be careful there. I'm just going to walk up anyway. That'll be good enough. I'm just going to hurry as fast as possible. My play is pretty good. I waited there on purpose to see if they would actually engage the bot play, which they did. So then I can come in later and be more unexpected and they assume I'm not there. If I instantly move up to it, they're never going to engage and that would be worse. If that makes sense. What is that flash? You just griefed yourself. He could have just flashed towards me and made it towards me and then we could have turned that together. But instead he flashed back in or something. That's crazy. Oh, that's not great. I don't know how else to put it. That's just not great. I think I have to hit the plant here. Oh, Rek'Sai's mid. Okay. Going top here doesn't do much, I don't think. Get that real quick. I don't think I would have made it to top lane, to be honest. Caitlyn went top lane. Keep my body slam here in case he walks up. Go for the wave, it's fine. Yeah, so in bot lane anyway. My Kate went top, so I just take wave. Good. I think I'll walk down here. Because I feel like Caitlyn Swain shouldn't have any issues. Please be careful, man. <laughs> her movement man what is that okay fair enough i mean she was never going to escape but uh, i just missed everything unfortunately wait my wait what happened top they over aggressed didn't they that sucks okay then uh rexai's definitely got to be no uh, rexai's actually dead i'll just take her both side cams done because she was top in very recently so we can take these now get fine smite action No way, Samira. Oh my god, you rat bastard. I hit the E on Samira, but he didn't ult that, so. Sure, mate. I'm muting this guy. He literally, like, he walked into them instead of just walking at Samira, because Samira is clearly the freest kill on the planet. So he he gets CC'd for no reason, and then he flames me afterwards. Like, Samira blocked my ultimate as well, so I couldn't even get a good ult off that, you know? That's even worse. Oh my god, this guy is just a crybaby. It's classic diamond behavior. This is just gonna be an angle for us to go in. Plant drone knock up, please. I have, I have to smite there, because otherwise he dies to the Samira thingy. Oh my god. I was uh, using my CC there alongside the Asso ult CC to drag it out for as long as possible. Smiting out Samira there was absolutely crucial, though, because if she gets going with that ultimate, that would have been really bad. I know this Rek'Sai's blue is up, so we're just going to take that real quick. Didn't have ult jet for that fight though, but you know. 17 seconds on dragon, so that should be good. I'm gonna do a scuttle here and then dragon. Really need to kill this scuttle before Caitlyn kills my red buff. So I get the red buff, double red buff, if you know what I mean. He doesn't go for my red buff, that's good. So Aatrox, can you stop ba going back to mid lane please? Thank you. Going mid here would be an absolute troll and a half if he does that. He needs to like help to defend this. I have to prioritize the dragon here. Just 
Hit him with a body slam. Ah, that's the most annoying thing on the planet. That's even worse. Holy mo I hate Samira so much, you have no idea. Oh my god. That block to block out my ultimate is literally the most annoying thing on the planet. I cannot with that. Ah, oh, damn. Also, my Kate ran mid lane. I don't know why exactly, but yeah, kind of sucks too. Dude, okay, I just have to... I have to hold my ultimate until she uses it, but she's gonna hold that until I use my ultimate anyway, so I guess it's not gonna matter. That's so annoying, though. Like, that dude would've just been dead. Like, the second time where she would've just been dead. What is Caitlyn doing? Okay. What a champion, man. Honestly, unbelievable. That's the second time. Like, basically, I died to Samira blocking my ult. That's crazy. Because on the other situation, I also died because she blocked my ult. Otherwise, I would never have died there. I would've just obliterated them. But that's really bad for me. Alright, I'm just gonna play a little differently with my ult, I guess, and just absolutely wait until Samira uses that thing, otherwise I just never get it off. And it'd just be terrible for me in, the, for, in like, in general. Whoever wants red buff can pick it up. I'm not ulting. I'm not ulting. I do not care. I've learned my lesson. Okay, good. I should be able to get this guy pretty easily as well. Because I just have to hit the bush here and just ult him and he's dead. Goodbye. Then I insta-herald. I played that pretty well. I, I refuse. Like, I just refuse to press ult now. I, I cannot deal with that anymore. I just can't. Twice now that she's blocked my ultimate and ruined me, so I refuse. <laughs> she is now holding her thingy until I ult, and I am just not gonna let her, you know what I mean? Best thing for me to do here is absolutely herald. Oh, oops, missed my body slam. Make sure to get this off the map still so I get the money from it and everything. I'm gonna have a very, very strong recall here in a second. But it's fine. Hmm. Hydrox is fine. Okay, cool. Someone didn't pick up the red buff earlier as well, so maybe just start typing it more. They actually didn't realize they can pick up some buffs. Caitlyn just suicided. That's unlucky. I just run bolt here. Okay, that's a dive on Aatrox if I've ever seen one. We can do this, we can turn this, we can turn this. Thank you, he ulted him. Dude, I couldn't move. I just literally couldn't move. That's so bad for me, actually. Ah, uh, I couldn't move. That was CC'd, and Viger just obliterated me. I know I had a lot of gold there. I get it, but still, damn. Do I? No, I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna go death cap. I'm solo. I'm not technically solo AP. It's I kind of, kind of whatever. Rush Drake. I don't think we lose much though. So as long as we just 5 bend this and then Caitlyn doesn't solo die on top lane and we can kind of defend her in fights, we should be good. I just need to get like a good ult off, but that Samira is the de like basically decimating me on getting a good ult off with her thing. I have to constantly think about that in order to get that ult off, you know what I mean? I'm doing this camp because hitting level 13 is actually very relevant here.
They could Baron here. It looks like they're not going to Baron here, surely. Tiger Flash, that's fine. So my 60 second ult cooldown for his Flash is not a problem at all. For the Samira real quick. Ah, come on, man. Dude, like, how is that a thing? I just, I have to build defensive. I cannot deal with this. I'm gonna, uh, Gronias would work. Do I have to go Banshees here? Caitlyn, please, thank you. Okay. Dude, I just get Vigor ulted and die. That's so unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna have to go something defensive. I don't know what it is. That I think I just have to go Banshees, right? Yeah, Banshees makes the most sense, I believe. Because Zonias, I don't think, would do much. Because I'm getting CC locked anyway. And preventing that CC lock from happening is probably worth more. So I feel like Banshees is just a must-buy for me right now. That's fine. Caitlyn, Caitlyn is just trolling with that aggression. That it's not something that's legal. Oh my god, Caitlyn, you absolute monster. Uh, that Caitlyn really just threw that by walking up. I don't know why she would consider that a good move. That sucks. Yasuo did the correct play and Yasuo paid for Caitlyn's sins as well. That's seriously rough. Oh well. That is not the barrel I wanted to place, but okay. Right. I just need to get to my Banshees here, I think, because otherwise that Vigar just keeps destroying me. Okay. I didn't want to smite that, to be fair. Oh. level 14 here would be quite nice. That's fine. Is it though? Oh my god, I can't move, man. Three seconds CC. I cannot move at all, ever. What is this? Holy... Oh, this is so frustrating. Like, I literally can't move. That's so annoying. Like, I can't even press ult to lead with either because the Samira would just block it. What is going on, man? Oh, dear God. That is so painfully annoying. Oh, they just get Baron. I just get, like, Nautilus hooked into instantly Nautilus ulted and then to CC lock with, like, Vigar Cage and stuff like that. Just... Literally the most disgusting thing in the world. Wow. I have to get Banshees. Like, with Banshees, I have a chance at surviving that, because then it wouldn't hit me in the first place, if you know what I mean. Is it a play to go for the blue here? I wonder. I think it could be, but it's a little risky. Oh, Viger didn't go for it. Okay. Holy, this is so frustrating. I don't know how the, how I necessarily have to play these team fights for it to work because that Samira just blocks out my other option when right? just getting a good ult off just right off the bat because she is not using it until I actually ult as well so it just really sucks. Oh. That doesn't even kill him! I was about to say, what the hell, man? Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't know. Seems unwinnable. Doesn't hit him. 
You are kidding. Okay. At least I didn't kill this time because I have some magic resist. Wow. These fights are so hard. Like that team comp, their team fights are so, so much better than ours. It's crazy. If it wasn't Samira AD carry though, their team fight would just insta lose because I could just upfront ult every single time and then Yasuo gets a good ult and it's over. But I have to get an ult when Samira's not in the vicinity, which is something else. Kate! Oh my god. I at least got him, thank god. Really? Everything is on cooldown. The hell do you want from me? What's going on here then? Oh, they, just, they just overextended the fight. Okay. S. Okay, I guess. Very interesting. I have ult in 15 seconds. Good damage. It's good damage again. Double kill. There we go. I should have smited him, I think. Ah, uh, whatever. Missing my body slam there kind of sucks, but it's fine. I, guess, I think I played that pretty well against Samira and Nautilus. It's not bad. This game is very hard, though. I just wish we had some better team fight, you know? Or I wish the enemy didn't pick Samira AD carry. Honestly, that's like the biggest factor here. On okay. I'm going to try to help them. I walk through all the bushes I can. Okay, good. We got the wreck side. That's beautiful. It's going to be up in four seconds, which I should be able to use. Haha, <laughs> sit down. That's what I thought. Surprise, we're from the Fog of War with that one, you know. Do as much damage to this guy as I possibly can. If I go out of here. Perfect. Alright, I'm playing these fights pretty well, I would say. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. He's kiting away from me as well. Granum has no ult now, at least, I guess. I suppose. Shit down, that's what I thought, rat. Actually what I thought, rat. Get out of my game. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get Zonias here, honestly, because I th think I need it. And then I'm gonna sell this for the Wisp, for the movement speed, I think. I'm gonna get a uh, Lich Bane lost item right now. It's surprising that Samira with your ult also works as a play, you know? At least there's that. We got the blue here as well. I don't know if we can rush it, but we can try. 700 on barrel. Oh, I missed it by 1 HP. That almost ended so badly for us. That's not good. That is very bad, even. Be able to get a Baron Recall in this position, right? I don't think I have to buy the potion. They're gonna get a dragon here, maybe, but I don't think they can push. 
I can definitely prevent the push on mid lane here for sure. Can't lead with ult here, unfortunately. I would have loved to do that, but I cannot. The Samira would just block it. Yeah, that sucks. I think I'm just rushing Dragon here. Oh, that stupid... Flash. I need to not get hit by the dragon's auto attack there, otherwise I'll lose my banshees and I die. I'll lose my banshees anyway. That's good damage. Play as slow as possible here. Get rid of her. Keep a barrel on her nose. When she comes up, I just insta barrel him. And then we one shot him, and he's out. Perfect. Very, very good play there from me. I need to play that as slow as possible. I just was looking for any good ult opportunity, and I was gonna get where, one there, which is good. Is this a game ender? Can we end here? This actually looks like a game ender. With Baron? Ah, they don't have Baron though. 15 seconds. Maybe I shouldn't have done Dragon. Maybe this was just better. Ah, we definitely end game here. Holy moly, what a game. Oh, thank the Lord. God damn, 4.3k on that. I think I played that pretty well. Last item would have been Lich Bane here. And uh, yeah. Ooh, I'll see you guys in the end game stats. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 41k damage, let's say, which is very respectable. Vyger did quite a lot, I will say, but yeah, I mean, it was a hard game, <laughs> definitely. At true damage, 2100, damage to objectives at 48k. Like, I really had those three early dragons locked down as best as possible, so playing from there was actually quite good for us, because we didn't have to deal with, like, Soul when they started taking over a bit, which was very helpful. Healing done, 23k. Uh, damage taken, 44.2. Self-mitigated at 34.7. Gold earned at 17.5. Uh, for the runes here, Dark Harvest dealt 3200 damage. Sudden Impact, 1200. Eyeball Collection, 30 AP. Relentless for some movement speed. Water Walking for movement speed. And then Transcendence for Ability Haste. You get 10 flat Ability Haste, and then you your cooldowns also get refunded upon kill by 20%. Uh, so... Yeah, 17 seconds refunded, but 10 flat ability haste is very, very, very nice. And that is it for Gragas. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below. It helps out quite a bit. Let's see more videos from the future. Hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.